guys, hey, how you guys doing? Spider-Man and me are fucking doing. We're doing today. Today was a very special day. Today I got my best friend tattoo with Janet. Um, it is a Harry Potter quote um, that wraps around my leg with a yin-yang um, symbol. So I have one half, she has the other. I have the dark half, she has the light half. Um, the quote says, happiness can be found in the darkest of times. And then her side says, if you, if one only remembers to turn on a light. So if you think about that, happiness can happen in the darkest of times. I am bipolar. I have chronic depression. I have a lot of issues. Um, you know, I cry a lot and stuff like that. And Janet is very lighthearted and she's very, she's a very positive force in my life. And the, it means a lot to us. Like the, so I just wanted to, to tell you guys about that. Um, I had that done today. Uh, it, it's fine. I have gauze on it right now or I'd show you guys because I'm laying in bed. And I don't want dog hair and stuff sticking to my damn tattoo like while I'm trying to sleep. So, um, yeah. So, it's, it's, it's like gauzy. I got the gauze on it. And my leg's swollen and hurts a little bit. Um, well... So there's several things we're going to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is how much I appreciate you guys for being here and spending some time with me today. I'm overjoyed that you decided to come on here for a few minutes and just hang out. Whether you stay for the entire video or you don't, I will answer some of the stuff um, from my last video um, where I was talking about, you know, just being really upset about stuff. Um, I really appreciate all of the stuff you guys said um I, I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart like those comments mean everything and you just don't know like how much I appreciate you guys so that that I'm going to say that and then I'm going to go into something else here in a few minutes that, that has to deal with with that too but I wanted to talk about this particularly first so um some of you have asked me like what you can do for the, the the videos and stuff like that. It's pretty much just watching the ads on it. Um, that's pretty much all you can do. So that there's not really anything else that, that, that I, you know, I don't sell merchandise. I don't do, you know, I don't, I don't do Patreon. I don't do any, anything else for, for that. I just, just literally just watching the video all the way through and clicking and watching the ads is, is the only thing you can really do. Um, which which is more than, than I can even ask. So I, I thank you guys for even doing that for me. I really do that. That's so sweet and kind of you. Um, so another thing is that a lot of you feel the same way about the working situation. Um, a lot of you don't work. A lot of you are disabled. A lot of you are just like me. Um, have you know mental problems a lot of you do work and I loved seeing the different you know um, how a lot of you deal with the same things that I do with the anxiety and the depression and the chronic pain and like you know it, it helps me realize that I'm not alone and the support that I have it, it just means fucking everything everything because I do go back and I read those and I, I do it just makes me feel so much better in the, it just makes me feel so much better um, especially when I was just so upset and really needed to you know like ver I always say verbal diarrhea um, that kind of stuff so being able to vent and being able to come on here and see you guys deal with the same things that I do makes me honestly feel like um, Again, I'm, I'm not alone and life is going to be okay. I get my hair cut tomorrow. So, um, say goodbye to the quasi-mullet. Um, because I want to look all fresh and pretty for my girl. I can't wait for my girl to get home. Oh my God, four more days. Oh my God, four more days. I'm super excited, guys. Like, you have no idea. Four more getting days and my wife will be here. OMG. So there, there's something else we need to talk about. Let's just get this out the way, okay? We're just gonna. I have moderators on every platform I have. If you don't know what a moderator is, it is somebody who comes in and helps me with my messages. It is somebody who comes in and makes sure that I see 
everything that is important. So I have friends, you know, they don't get paid or anything because I'm not like, I don't, obviously I'm not like a fucking, I'm squirrel. That's why. Because I'm fucking squirrel. And I don't want to miss anything important. And like I've told you guys before, like I actually talk to people who are suicidal. I actually talk to people who have serious mental problems like I do. I want to make sure that any of those posts, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or, or YouTube, if it is a dire need situation, I want to make sure that I'm there. And so I have people come in, you know, you know, when they have time to kind of go through stuff and be like, did you see this? Did you see this? Did you talk to this person? Did you, did you happen to look at that? Did you, did you see this? Did you, did you, you know, and either I'll write back yes or no, you know, I'll go through the whole Skype thing and then we, you know, um, we go from there. So today when, when I, ow, when I posted the pictures of mine and Janet's tattoo, um, somebody had tagged their best friend in it and said, let's do it. So, if you go back to my video uh, two weeks ago or something like that, I think I made about two videos, maybe three videos talking about this and then I've made multiple posts over the years talking about how it makes me uncomfortable and it makes me unhappy when people copy my tattoos. So, while I'm dicking around on, on Instagram and looking stuff up, this person writes, you know, let, let's do it, which is flagged by one of my moderators as, you know, because they shared my, my post. So not only did they just, you know, the, they didn't just tag somebody, they shared it. So that means that they, they put it on their wall, their friend's wall, and said, let's do it, which got them, t you know, it, get, it got them blocked. So I don't even know anything about that yet. Okay, so I'm not I'm not even there because I'm I'm doing other stuff and you know I'm I'm dicking around with Janet and talking to you know her husband, and I've got my wife on the phone, and you know I'm I'm showing her stuff and like you know I'm I'm playing with the pictures and I'm making collages and I'm I'm networking and talking to people and doing stuff and checking email. You don't know what I go through per day. I am squirrel. I am everywhere. I'm I'm constantly right now I'm thinking about tacos. Like you just don't understand. Like it, it my brain is like all day or day. All day every day. All day every day octopus. Like it just just random all day long. So I need help. Well, that's obvious. I need I need help excuse me, to, to help me with my platforms because I just don't want to miss important things. And so this person got blocked. Okay, so when somebody writes something on YouTube, I get a, I get a ding. So before any of my other moderators go look, I get a ding for it. So I go look, and like I said, I was dicking around doing all kinds of stuff. We were making dinner, and I'm just bleh everywhere. Doing stuff. I had hamburger for dinner. There you go. Um, focus. Focus because this is important. Focus. So, again, this person got blocked. And, you know, um, I went on the YouTube thingy. And there was a big, long text about how, like, this person's been here a little long time. And they've been a long time supporter and then they started going into how like you know I was mean and hateful and how I blocked their I blocked them and like I don't give a shit about you know any of my supporters or followers and blah 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 it was just, I skimmed it I skipped because I the minute I started reading it I was like oh fuck and then I was like oh no skim so once it was like I don't care about anybody and I'm mean and horrible I was like okay nope 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 so that that perpetuated me going into Skype. So I go into Skype and I start yammering and I'm trying to figure out what happened and I got a screenshot and then like I said it's it's let, let's do it. And then I see that it was shared and then, and then, and then, then. had it not had the YouTube comment where it was nasty. Had the YouTube comment not come when I went into Skype and saw the thing, I would have been like, "You know what? That that's not really that bad." 
why don't, you know, I just, I, I go in there and I apologize and just let them know what happened. And that, you know, that was just, you know, that was, that, that happened by accident. Well, it wasn't really by accident, but that happened because of blood. But because of the way that was handled, you know, on both ends was kind of meh. I didn't particularly, you know, I, I wouldn't have dealt with it that way particularly. Like, I would have been like, uh, what? But, uh, anyway. So, it was just. Had it not been negative and, and icky, I would have probably went back and, and, and you know, been like, I'm so sorry. I, I feel really bad about that. Um, you know, th th this is why that happened, um, you know, whatever. Um, so that that's that's it. So I, I would have done that, but I'm not going to do that now because that was, that was, there's just, there's just no reason. I'm not going to fight with nobody and I don't do drama. So, I don't fight with anybody. I don't have drama of any kind whatsoever. The moment I have drama, it is, it is squished. Because I don't have time for it. I don't have time in... Uh, it, it takes a precious, precious time in my head and my heart in order to deal with any kind of drama. I just... As much as I love people and as much as I care and as empathetic as I am, the moment that shit starts, I'm like, nah, 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 mm -mm. we're gonna, I'm just, on this side of the line, I'm just not gonna, so, there, there was that, and again, I, shit out of, so, yes, I care about you guys very much, which is why I have a headache, um, there's not really much I can do about it at this particular point in time, things escalated in a ridiculous way and things were handled a ridiculous way and so I make a video I let you know how I feel about it if that person is watching this video again I'm not I'm not a vindictive mean person um, that happened for a reason and there we go so that's that's the end of what I'm gonna say about that so. okay so I don't even think my response was mean or nasty either. I think it was. It, I think that's the best I could put it, the best way I can do it, and I, I think I, that's the best way I can explain it. And that's 12 to 13 minutes of people's time, where I shouldn't have even had to have made this fucking video this way. So anyway, anyhow, anywho, let's let's try to to get on a better thing now. So. Like I said, my wife will be home in about four days. Um, I get to share something really awesome with you guys pretty soon. You guys will know where I'm going pretty soon. Um, I think we're leaving on Saturday or Sunday of next week um, to our next base. So there's lots of awesome stuff. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Um, yeah. Other than that, the dogs are great. Um, I'm going to go see my Aunt Patty Ann again in the morning. I'm taking some more clothes over there to her. Um, I'm bringing her breakfast again. And uh, we're going to play D&D. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you about my D&D game. So I play D&D with Janet um, and her husband and um, her 13-year-old um, Gage. So it is a PG, pretty much, game. And I, I play a druid, and um, she plays a paladin, and he plays a bard. And today we fought undead, and it was just, it was a really fun, it was a very fun game. Um, I'm a gigantic nerd, <laughs> if you guys don't already know that, you ain't been here long enough. So, yes, we play D&D, that means uh, Dungeons and Dragons, in case you guys don't know what it is, or you've never heard of it, and, um, like, we have dice, and we, 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 we take turns, and we're role-playing, like, what our character's doing, and what characters are thinking, and, you know, like I said, it's just, it's, it's fun, it's fun for me, but, um, yeah, our characters, like, I summoned a water elemental because they only have, um, one, we're first level. So we actually play, like, first and second edition. It, I'm talking to the people who, who know what I'm talking about because otherwise, I'm, I hope people understand what I'm, maybe one day I'll do an entire video where I can just kind of, you know, poop out the entire amount of, like, D&D &D stuff to, to explain but hopefully there's enough of you who know what I'm talking about. It was just 
I had um, a seven water elemental and then I have a, a familiar which is a snake which also was part of it and then I was beaten and did with my staff and then um, I used cure light wounds and then I also had to use good berries um, so th those are the two spells I used um, no yes seven water elemental was one and then um, the because I, I, the good berries were good up for 24 hours, so I'd done that the day before. I had forged for them. You guys don't care. <laughs> like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I'm telling you about my good berries, and that I got them the day before, and they're good for 24 hours, and they're plus one hit point. So, during the battle, when Janet's character got hit for seven hit points, which is all she had, she was, she was knocked unconscious, and I had to give her some good berries in order for her to come back to uh, consciousness and for her to get up and help us fight and uh <laughs> I'm sorry and about 75% of you are going to be like and we're done with this video so anyway guys lots of cool stuff is coming up um I'm really nervous about where I'm going uh things are going to be cool though we're going to figure things out I will make more videos about things I just wanted to tell you guys that I absolutely adore your faces um I hope everyone's having a wonderful day no matter where the hell you happen to be in the world my name is itchy um I'm, I'm just tired now <laughs> like I'm ready to like lay down for a little bit oh man wait hold on I'll tell you what happened so I go to Target Target I know I was going to say goodbye, but hold on a second. I got to tell you about this. So I got a Target with Janet before our tattoo because I wanted to get um, uh, a kind of like a Lunchable. Like it was just, you know, salami and cheese. But um, since I didn't really have anything besides coffee and a protein bar, I wanted something else to make sure that my sugar didn't like drop in the middle of, you know, a tattoo because it does put a lot of stress on your body during that. And I've never had a tattoo when I had... Um, you know, when I've had, uh, uh, when I, now I have the diabetes, um, or hypoglycemia, but whatever, reactive hypoglycemia, um, so I was worried that, you know, like, I would pass out or get sick or something like that, so we, we went to Target to get that, well, during me walking around in Target, like, I get that floaty feeling, and then my vision starts, you know, kind of, slowly doing this number and I, I kind of grabbed Janet's shoulder and I'm like we need to get something in me right now and um that's what she said. <clears throat> we actually went down to the dead the dead of it, the diabetic aisle and they had this liquid dextrose and of course they have the glucose pills and like I said I already had those but I don't have like I didn't have it in my little purse needs um like the little thing but they had the liquid dextrose and so in the store before we even buy it I have to crack it open and drink it really quickly and then it makes me dump <laughs> so it's just it's funny to me because I needed it so desperately and it still took probably about five minutes of me sitting down and just you know being like oh oh god am I actually gonna or am I okay but it instantly because I was empty stomached and you know had nothing in my intestines really my made me dump so fucking sick I was like oh god so I still do dump um it was like 15 grams of sugar all at once so that that's a lot of sugar like all at once that's like eating and you know that's like eating two spoonful fucking you know sugar on an empty stomach it was just it was a lot and it was liquid so it instantly hit me which is what I needed um, but I didn't even like I know they make gel and I know that you know obviously now I know that they have this liquid so I may just buy some of these on Amazon and just keep one in my purse at all time because honestly it's better than the tablets because the tablets they they take too long um, and that was like you know less than five minutes I was like oh okay we're okay because it was you know but it did make me pretty fucking sick um afterwards so it it might be more prudent for me to have um other things in my thing and then I also checked 
um, and I was I was like 50 56 so I was I was getting down pretty low <sighs> anyway anyhow anywho I love your beautiful gorgeous amazing faces I wanted to tell you about the liquid dextrose in case anybody else has got that you should go look at that that was actually pretty cool um, and I will talk to you guys very 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 soon bye